Welcome to New Game Plus. You are listening to a retro gaming podcast where three guys spend seven days playing one old game and then we talk about it. My name is Dustin. My name is Kenny. Nolan. And this is episode 68. And in preparation for today's episode, we all took an official typing test to truly monitor our words per minute. So, guys, uh, do you care to share? I, you guys go I do care to share. You do care to share. I do. Uh, but I'll right, go first. No one? I'll go first. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, mine's 69 is the best I could get. Um, okay. I the best. Use, so, that's after a few attempts? That's after a couple attempts. Um, I think three. So, I use a different test and get higher numbers. So, I guess, like, the... Um, settings are different like it takes into account longer words with this one or something i was lying to myself yeah, for a while then different but you like you you got 69 on the one that like we did officially right yeah, yeah the one that we all did yeah so okay. that was my score kenny Dust, dustin got like 87 and he's ready to brag about yeah, it more than that probably no that would be bad um so <laughs> first thing that would for, be bad <laughs> yeah First thing this morning, I, I did it twice. I, I told them to just do it once, but I did it twice. First thing this morning, I was slow, groggy, fingers were just getting warmed up. So I did 85 with one error. And then I obeyed the rules and waited two minutes. And after <laughs> my two minute wait period, I did a second attempt and got 100 with no errors. Oh, that's just really wrong. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers move fast. Okay, so you want to know about fast. Here's what happened. Oh. I jumped on that test. First thing in the morning. Hadn't even got, had my coffee yet. No big deal. Eight. Because I'm ready to blow Dustin out of the water. No, you're not. That's what, I, that's what my brain is telling me. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm sitting down, and I'm about to get after it. Uh, and so I start typing. Typing, 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 typing. Uh, I'm like tearing through it. Some of the fastest typing I've ever done. In fact, in a little while, I went back to the bedroom and my wife was like, what were you doing? It was like, <laughs> You're it like was so that hacking? Loud and impressive. Yeah, and so it sounded legit. Um, and so get through the whole test, hit results. It tells me zero words per minute. That's pretty slow. I'm super confused because I just typed <laughs> lots of words and they all lit up on the screen. Did you like, type as you the win. words it told you to type? <laughs> So not only I did hope I have... that in, I hope that in his browser, like in the browser <laughs> yeah. URL thing, that's the full word. No, it uh, so like it. It, it 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 gives you like a breakdown at the end of like all the mistakes you've made. Wicked, wicked. And so like I start to scroll down the page. Not only did I have caps lock on, but I'd set my fingers off one set of keys on the no! keyboard. And so I typed every single one of these words, but they were all Kenny. moved over one space and in bold. And so it's this giant screen of text <laughs> of just fail at a really, 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 really fast pace. And Kenny. I started laughing so hard. It was the most ridiculous Your thing. Home I literally has... thought the words were writing up, like lighting up as that they were correct. Because they were all turning red as I was typing. And yeah, I thought that bad. meant that they were like, okay. Your and so home road totally has the first little time. grooves on it to tell you that you're on F and J. Uh, my keyboard doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. But I don't li feel that. I don't have a fancy mechanical like you, okay? Please tell me you did it again. No, and so I, I went back and did it again, and I, I average in the mid-60s. I think I hit, uh, like, 62 one time and then hit 68 a number of times once errors were calculated in. I know I could have done higher, but I didn't, like shoot for a high score do you bother like, to backspace and correct if you average. mess up or do you just go i did it both ways it's slightly faster for me if i just leave the errors and keep typing through yeah if it's a small error i'll backspace very quickly because on, on that test specifically you get an error or two and it, it brings your words oh, per yeah. minute down Changes the average a lot it, it's, how'd you... the only reason you got such a high number on that second one is because you hit a perfect <laughs> run through how'd you get so fast really dustin fast. Um, oh, he's unreal. I don't know. School, right? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, oh, probably that those farmer interviews. Oh, that, that job you had for a while. Yeah. Uh, but whether you type fast or slow or have all errors like Kenny or no errors like someone else, I don't know. Our retro game of the week can help you get better. Worries. Join us today Maybe. as we talk about Mario teaches typing. 
please. <laughs> please don't <laughs> leave joking. after hearing that. Please don't leave Stick right around. Now. Stick around as we talk about this. Although, game. I get it if you leave. <laughs> Overview. So Mario Teaches Typing is an edutainment game. What's edutainment? What? Such That's a, a terrible weird. word. Yeah, that it is, is a bad word. You I know who ever coined it word. was like, we're about to milk this for everything it's worth. It's when you marry education and entertainment into a beautiful union. And fun. It's, so it's edufunment. No, no it's not. No, that's um, what U is from, is from fun. It is S surprisingly published by Nintendo yes. for, for computers in 1991. <laughs> Like, to and, some degree, it had to be. They had Mario in it. There'd yeah. have been big old lawsuits if it hadn't had Nintendo's stamp of approval. But I would expect something of, of much higher quality coming right. from yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, it, it may have been a tool that was used in your elementary school. It wasn't in mine. I didn't have something near as cool. Did either of you guys? No, I, yeah, I played this mine. game as a kid. What? Like the, oh, you I got this yeah, in Mario school? Yeah, Mario teaches typing. Uh-huh. Not fair. Uh, yeah, we had a legit school. A legit school that plays Mario? No, I uh -huh. I used to maybe speak in. I had never heard of this game as a kid. Well, also, Nolan, you and I probably weren't in elementary school yet when this was... Uh... Right, and, like, Mavis Beacon okay. is actually a little better. Like, that's once people yeah, got their the act together. <laughs> right, that's the problem, is I'm... They hadn't really figured out how to do this well yet when I was going through elementary school. Well, we know what the product is. It is someone who leaves on caps lock and thinks that red <laughs> is good and then types the right off of the Mario event. teaches typing failed me as a child, and it made me literally worse at typing this week, I think. So, <laughs> excuse me. So, um, the story, you you discover the story. I like. I even laugh to kind of even just say it like that. But um, you discover somewhat of a story by letting the video play at the start of the game. And uh, so Mario and Luigi, they come across a magical typewriter that's just floating in the air. They're on their way to Bowser's castle and uh, come across this mysterious typewriter. And Mario tries to type on it and reveals that he is an absolute idiot because not one <laughs> word comes out of any of that. It, 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 just, just slow plumber. And um, the typewriter, the typewriter, uh, half the like, I guess it's so bad that it just explodes. And in its place <laughs> is a it. scroll that shows three pieces of the typewriter and the words "Find me," which. I don't know why anyone would want to find a typewriter that just blew up in your face. But Just the fact that it's a typewriter tells you the era that this game was made in. Ah, uh, true. But also, like, it's not like sit down on your laptop or your computer and learn to type because you're going to need to to function in society. It's like, here's typing as a skill, and that's what you're going to need. And so let's teach it to you on this funny computer-y do hockey. Do hockey, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do hockey. And so the uh, the plumbing brothers they set off uh, on a quest to recover all the pieces of the typewriter and to improve Mario's typing skills. <laughs> Yay! Great, Hurrah! great story. <laughs> also, I completely missed that. I I didn't watch whatever you're talking about at all. I just right. so you just leave the home like you leave the screen on for a while, the main menu. Uh, I don't even think for a while. You're probably getting busy. You did a first play this week, right? Yeah, yeah I just so, got right into it. I just clicked. I tried to get you, past you, that screen yeah. as fast as I could. And I, I always, and when we do our, our games, I always try to sit back and just wait for a little bit so I can get any mm -hmm. kind of story, any kind of narrative that, that we're working with. There's usually and, something. Um, and, and this one had it. Um, Interesting. Kind of. Very yeah. weird. Even for Mario, weird. Yeah, um... And so then uh, is what you do just kind of like uh, for an overview of the game. You uh, you go in, you've got your home screen, you put in your new player name, um, which would just be your name or it would be Dalinar or whatever you, you might know, have Calvin, put as, as yours. Whatever. And, uh, and then uh, you go through a, a series of typing tasks. There's, yes. uh, there's five. Yes, four, five. Four ish five, something and, like that. Some tasks. And and, uh, and they're slightly different, and they <laughs> test and challenge your typing. 
You can start with just home row keys only. You can do numbers. You can add top row keys, bottom row keys. You can do the whole keyboard. Uh, but but And then you can set your goal for words per minute. And uh, then you take part in these various tasks, which then... Um, I mean, it brings the story back in as you collect typewriter pieces, but as Nolan mentioned, that is, that's erroneous. Very hidden, yeah. Yeah, not the point. Let's go ahead and move into gameplay. Yeah. So, what did, what was the genre you called this game again? Edutainment. Edutainment, all right. Edufunment. Edufunment. So, like... Edu unattainable the, fun. The point <laughs> of the gameplay is to learn... In, on this game, so it's pretty. <laughs> said learn with a question mark. <laughs> to learn. <laughs> uh, wait till you see the stream overlay. Um, and so like the gameplay is just centered around like homework. <laughs> like I felt I was homework? doing homework. It's not homework. Okay, it's it's what you expect. You start on the home row, and then it's like F, 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 and every time you hit a button, <laughs> every time you hit F. <laughs> you uh it <laughs> is mario or whoever you picked as your character running through the level breaking blocks and jumping on on koopas and whatnot so like you're visually so, getting a mario game right but, so it's it's like a mario side scrolling screen and right. then stuff is coming towards you and you have to pass those obstacles by typing a certain key yes and so, like, the actual gameplay consists of your fingers and your keyboard, and that's it. But you're getting, like, a picture of Mario. F. 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 <laughs> F. F. Uh, you're going to start saying you again. Please. Because there's a me, subliminal, like... Yeah. Do let me say that it is a, it is a form of Mario, both visually <laughs> okay, and, yeah. and yeah. audibly. Right. That's true. It's not the Mario you know, I promise. No, so, it's not. It, yeah. it's, it's somewhat the, the Mario, maybe the Mario of your nightmares a little bit. So a little bit. It it like it's everything in this bad. everything in this game was close to what you're familiar with. <laughs> uh, the the music was close to the the images were close to Mario's voice was far awful, from. y'all. It was yeah. bad. It um, was like racist bad. Yeah, like, like over the top. Like no, against okay. Italian people. No, just don't don't answer. But um, so the first stage though uh, isn't even words. It's kind of running across. Think like level one, one uh, of maybe some of the earlier Mario's, where you're just running left to right. Um, you you can jump up and hit bricks or run through turtles. Not jump on their heads. Just <laughs> yeah, run you like do a little and they right. fall twist. <laughs> um, but is what you're doing if you're if you're coming in this as a new player, you are typing letters like like no one said f f f semicolon f you. l f no we don't that's top row bro we don't get that far. oh i, I did uh, top row. <laughs> um and uh but it but it's like four random letters at a time that are on the screen yeah. so it's not like you can even do anything and then at the end it gives you a scorecard with your words per minute which you didn't even type any words and right. it gives you it tell it shows you like you congratulations you just got nine words per minute yeah mm -hmm. nine when compared to your 100 in real life like, right it's feeding you the visuals like at a pace maybe slightly faster than that like you literally can't type quickly right. because the screen yeah. can't keep you up. have to wait on and so you feel really terrible about yourself as yeah. an actual like adult typist when you start playing this game because it's like your goal is five words per minute and you made it, but barely. <laughs> right. Just because, like, the game gives it to you that way. It's yeah. pretty terrible. Yeah. So, uh, second level, um, that's the water stage, I believe. Yes. And you're actual being chased. Words. You're being chased. Yeah, you finally get some actual words. Uh, some, but there's still some, like, FS, Can DJ, or stuff. Yeah. Like Can that. we talk about that level at the end of the first series of levels? Because it was the worst thing. You, when what? you get all of your keys, but you're not hitting them in rows, maybe it was like a different mode where you actually went in and did like a test specifically. And what is it? What, what is it's it? It's like? that one where there's a block of text, but that is nonsensical. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's and the it's third. All the letters and numbers together. That's the fourth stage or fifth stage. Okay, that's literally my least favorite thing that I've ever done. Yeah, well, sure. I mean it's because. Let's, Let's let's not go in the order of like one two three four. Let's go ahead and skip <laughs> right. over to, to stage four and yeah. talk about that one. 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, it was a terrible one. It was it just was where, a huge block of text, right? And you type uh -huh. a word, a word, a word, a word, and, and it goes to the next one. And like up until and at that first, point, it's not even like words. Up until that point, you had themes. Like the first level was uh, a normal first stage in Super Mario. Of Mario, yeah. yeah. And then the second one's underwater it's level. Water. And right. then all of a sudden, you just get third this... one was castle. Third one was okay. Castle. Third one was awesome, castle. Right? Yeah, that's fourth my favorite one. one. And then take just, it all away. Just yeah, dull the, the fun white video text game part just disappears. Giant Mario face at the top. That's it. <laughs> it's yeah. just like out of place and weird. It's at, like now first, we got you now we got you hooked into the game. <laughs> now let's take the yeah, game yeah. away. It just made, type. No sense. Makes no sense. But like type nonsensically. And like so much I don't know if you guys have realized this, but so much of my typing anymore is like word recognition and your fingers just react. You right. know, you don't think yes. about like what you're typing. Yes. It's once you've typed a certain amount. And so going through and literally typing like P semicolon uh exclamation mark one F space. Yeah, F, yeah, yeah, yeah. F, 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 F and then you start having to just say F uh because <laughs> it makes no sense. No, you're right. It, you can't do it as quickly as you could actually type, and so yeah. you feel frustrated, and ugh, it was so, the like, worst thing. So, like, that type of typing is meant to show you on the keyboard where the keys are, but don't make it, like, a words-per-minute thing, because it's not words. The problem I ran into, and I don't even know if this is fair to say, I mean, it is a typing game, but, like, I type words, and like you said, it's just reaction, but, like, these were making you type it would highlight a certain letter in the word and you had to type that and so like sometimes i get ahead of myself and just type quickly and it wouldn't register what i was doing yeah that's really it's frustrating. really rough way to teach but typing. i mean it does register all the like fails and yeah it, it shows it you at ticks the end those up how bad you uh, so um going backwards now kenny uh to the third level was actually my most enjoyable so after Same. the water one yeah, which sure. water stages always suck the castle one was was <laughs> Even in typing game one of the first where you actually type full sentences, not just right. full words, but full sentences. Yeah. And you're learning about history. I know. Like, you're getting a lot yeah. of info there. I mean, why why Edging wouldn't it tables. why wouldn't it uh, have something a story to type about Mario, but instead have you type about the bloody Civil War? Yeah. Like, and George Washington's wooden teeth. Yeah, his dentures. Right. But like instead <laughs> of it could have had you type any kind of fantasy fun story anything we're talking about elementary school kids right so like the apple was red i mean we could type stuff like that instead we're typing about like um ten thousand people died in this <laughs> battle of the civil war did it really like, i kind of checked I, I out when i was reading it I, it I mean it was we were talking it was about, about war yeah war, and we yeah, were talking about slavery like, we're not <laughs> gonna just teach you and entertainment we're gonna double teach you right. while you're being entertained. You and won't it, know. That's in the one that, kids. in one of the stages, I think it's the one that Kenny was talking about because it eventually um, becomes sentences, or it may have been even the one after that. Um, you you start typing about atomic bombs and, and about us oh dropping bombs gosh. on Japan, like <laughs> Nintendo. That, welcome why? To, welcome to the early '90s, like right. view of education. Like we need to teach them the real <sighs> stuff. <laughs> but uh, in that castle stage, though, I was thrown off because although it for, it kind of gives you some sim, sim, semblance semblance uh, ambulance of uh, <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of Mario because you're in that castle, you've got those uh, those those blo uh, blocks with faces on it that that slam down. Obviously, I'm thwomps. not catching their names. What are they? Thwomps. Womps. Th. Womp. We're learning here. T H O M P S. T H. <laughs> okay, I'll type it out. Yeah. Um, so you've got those, but then you, but then Mario gets in this like metal clinking pipe <laughs> to get to the next place, and then jumps in quicksand. Yeah, in a like, castle. That's smart. Yeah, <laughs> quicksand in a castle, and, and then you have to type so that he doesn't f go under the sand and die. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know. It's it's the weird. story elements of this are, are like. I mean, yes, but but also no, you know? And see, it's so true. You can do edutainment and have a story that's intriguing. Oregon Trail. Dying to rattlesnake bites and diphtheria taught us that. <laughs> so good. You know? And like, dysentery. And so, dysentery too. I mean, I might have died of diphtheria. I had a... <laughs> it's unrelated to the game. I went, but... I went on a different route. Yeah. <laughs> my trail. Um, but also the gameplay. You know, like... 
it doesn't have to be terrible to be educational. Yeah. And I don't and think it attained the edutainment standard that it went for. To make it feel like a game, to, they could have added some sort of other element to it. So, uh, Dustin, you had mentioned that the water stage are getting chased. But you can, like, not type, and uh, right. it doesn't really penalize you. It'll never you. catch you. It, no, you, ju you just eventually run out of time or something. Um, yeah, it's right. just running out of time. Yeah, which it, is, it would have been like a, a little, faux threat, but it's not actually there. It would have felt more like a video game if there was that sort of minigame element to it. And Where the thwomps yeah. falling was some, but... No, I but thwomps, I don't th Can they even land on you? Uh, they can, they, f like, fall, and then you can't keep going. But uh. that's whatever that's just time based though right that's time based yeah i the only thing game wise that like i felt man i failed was when i just i stopped typing uh on one of the latter stages when it was just mario's head at the top mm -hmm. and um and just as the time progressed watch as his face slowly <laughs> fell until he's just looking very disappointed at me oh dang. he does that he's he goes from he like really you. happy to just like straight to like a frown and i'm like why are you I'm doing sorry, mario that i'm disappointing you so bad oh man yeah there's, there's so a many kid elements to this. what we're teaching our kids shame at how bad they are at typing death death oh, bombs and atomic how warfare. great america atomic is warfare. <laughs> And Welcome to you Mario. Better to learn to type. type nonsense because, you know, who cares about anything else? Let's move on to aged. So this is one of those that when I heard about the fact that we were playing, I got a little hyped because a it's fun to be competitive in typing, even yeah. though the game itself ended up not lending itself to that at all. Though I'm curious to see what our viewers uh, sent in in terms of actual speed like in the game i know some of them probably did that um e. but two uh, what? wait what you said a and I said a said yeah two a and two <laughs> because i mario taught me how to make okay. lists you need a right. mario teaches game. list making um now you completely derailed uh, me I don't just what make I was something saying. up what was my a i don't know i wasn't listening okay oh <laughs> well it was <laughs> Like this game was bad. That's what I was trying okay. to say. <laughs> okay. All right. I had so a point there. let me let me ask Dustin. Since you are the typing guru of the modern day 2017, what? So how do you feel like this game compares as far as teaching you how to type to today's standards? I don't. I mean, so. <laughs> I do. I don't remember what program was used to teach us typing. I do remember that we had those uh, like orange covers, covers. Yeah. Yeah. That where we could only see certain things, which uh -huh. is a terrible idea. I I don't know. Obviously, something they did in my schooling and training worked to help with familiarity of the keyboard, but I don't think it helps with actual typing. I think sitting yeah, yeah, down yeah. and typing sentences over like that's. Mm -hmm. That's going to be what's beneficial, but just having to like quickly find the F key and then the yeah, F key that's... and then the F key and then the F key, like yeah, that's no, terrible. I don't think that's gonna do it, and I don't know this game. Like, I think well, thankfully it's not in rotation anymore. They found better ways in more recent years, right. I assume, to teach kids how to type. Yeah, Google probably has something. I don't know. I don't know if they still use Mavis Beacon. I really doubt it. But yeah, like that's the way to teach typing. Give sentences and just yeah. get familiar with how you type. They would force right. me to type so weird, like oh, yeah. with my pinkies, and I don't type that way. I, I use no. my pinkies, but not for some keys. So, I don't know anyone that use that does all fingers for the proper yeah, keys. Yeah, no that way. They try to teach me. Right. I don't. I don't. I either. don't. And I and I get the words exactly minute, kind of what I shared earlier. Uh, like, and you don't either, Kenny. Do you? Oh, no, I don't at all, which was part of the frustration, like, and, and this actually would speed me up, but I don't ever have to, like, type numbers consistently, and I don't type that many symbols in the things I do oh, in right. day-to-day. Yeah, like, I have to look at the use. numbers. And so the expectation of Mario teaches typing to, like, use your specific finger, like, on that number or that symbol, I'm right. cross-handing that business, Yeah, you know, okay. yeah. Uh, and so it, I don't know, it, it didn't feel especially effective in that way, like as a program, it right. definitely felt aged. Like I told you, we played this as a kid, and we we did. Um, but my actual typing class that I took in middle school, we actually had uh, typewriters, and so 
Dang, I know. Kenny. Isn't that wild? Like, it was that left over wild. from bygone era. It was, like, a, half a room of, like, typewriters and then half a room of, like, really early uh, wow. apples. Uh, and so this, like, when you were actually in, like, the computer lab, not the typing lab, and could get to do this, it felt pretty legit. But let's be real. Yeah. I learned more as a kid, even though this had a little bit of nostalgia, and so there was some of that, like, oh, I remember childhood from it in terms of how it aged. I learned more from every other video game I played in terms of how to type because the desire was to communicate with other people. And you couldn't do that if you were a slow typist. And so the fact that I wanted to talk to people online That's good. meant I was going to learn to type. Or rage Mario at people couldn't online. teach me. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, Kenny's like... League of Legends taught you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, generation I, I grew up with F, League F, is going to know QWERTY F, really F, well. F, F, F. <laughs> Uh, so, like, <laughs> Mario teaches typing as a teaching game aged garbage. It was bad in the first place. But yeah. as the as far as a video game, still bad. <laughs> uh, it just, like Dustin said, I just want to reiterate and kind of talk about it more. Nintendo made this game, but it felt like a homeless person made this game. And <laughs> what they thought about it Mario. Let's be real. It wasn't like Nintendo made this game. It was interactive, or whoever made this sure. game. Sure, that's it why the whole Nintendo time I was like, "Who made this IP. this game? Yeah. It's not playable. It sounds it, terrible. It, it looks is terrible." It's really an edutainment software it, created. But game. here's the thing: if Nintendo made a typing game today, oh, it it'd be, be dope. Incredible. Yeah, it yeah. could be the oh, best. Oh, it'd be amazing. Game. So that's what makes me mad. If Nintendo, Nintendo, the things that they touch turns into turns into classics yeah. instantly. Um, and, and they just were, they must have been just completely hands off on this game, and it had no love, and that's felt, and you can see that yep. today. Yeah. It mm -hmm. clearly is a teaching tool, masquerading as a game. Like, they didn't learn to do the both thing well, or at least not everybody. At least I, not the educational software companies yeah. that then tried to, like, pull games in. What year did this come out again? Early, like 91, I think. Okay. 91. Yeah, so I feel like someone approached Nintendo and was like, hey, kids love video games in Mario. Uh, can we <laughs> can we make a teaching game? And they're like, sure. But you can tell that Mar that Nintendo didn't like... Right, the love's not there. The love's not there. Yeah. It's just thrown together with the skin on top that's not even a good one. It's just... So, so educationally aged poorly. Um, entertainment aged poorly. Yeah. Fun uh, element of it, it aged poorly. It yeah. all aged poorly. But did we give this game our vote for New Game Plus status? <laughs> Find out after the break. Who's going to do the commercial? Don't worry. No, 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 no. Are we going to actually monetize this time with ads? Let's do a commercial for ads. Mavis Beacon. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'd be perfect. And we're back. All right, so New Game Plus status. Uh, that means do we encourage our viewers to get a copy of this game and to play it because they will enjoy it because there is some good value to be found and had in this game. Nolan, let's just start with you, bro. All right. Uh, get a copy? No. You can go online and play it on a website that has still DOS don't games. still do that. Um, so if you want to play it, just go to Google and search for it. Um, but I don't recommend you play it because, you one, you probably know how to type. You grew up in the 2000s or in the 90s, uh, and you don't need this game anymore. So go play Super Mario on your Wii U or whatever is the new go console. Go play an actual game. Go play an actual things. video game. Or if you really want to play a video game with a keyboard, go play Diablo. Or one of those games like League that you use, you're using a row of keys, whether it's QWERTY or 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatever, and you'll get better at typing just by playing that game a lot. So, oh, no, I don't give it. So, no, you don't. No. Kenny? I, you know, I always try and, like, give things any credit they can. We know. Oh, we and know, so, Kenny, like, such a saint. I did have a little bit of nostalgia for this game, and that's always worth something. And I can foresee a situation where someone would want to play this game if, like, their life was way too good, and they were, like, really too happy, and they felt like their time was being used too well and they wanted to level the playing field a little bit with oh, all the rest of humanity, with this terrible this analogy. then they could come play this game. Because okay. it, it was a complete, total waste of time. Uh, not fun. Like, it almost tried to do some good things and be both fun and, and educational, but it missed the mark. 
And uh, it's not like enough of a like weird blast from the past that's it's enjoyable for that sake. And so it's just frustrating. So no, no new game. Plus okay, so me. no. All right, just checking. We keep forgetting uh, because we're just so. Casual. I mean, f- for me, it, it's it's not Var- Mario's voice. It's uh, it's not familiar animations. It's not familiar graphics. The music is close, but yeah, I like it, the music actually. It's just off. I I mean, I, I thought it was close, but then it's just piercing and it gives me a headache. Like it's here's the thing. It's the right idea to have a Mario teaching game. It's the Absolutely. right idea to sure. have a Mario educational game. But if they wanted to make this a fun game that would last the test of time, they failed horribly. So uh, skip this title. I do not give it my vote for New Game Plus. Neither does Kenny nor Nolan. And so we'd say move on to the next one. Congratulations. That's exactly. It's I way mean, worse than better. that. It's so No, that bad. was better. Uh, it's better than this too. Mario teaches typing. Yeah, that was better. Actually, it's, it's pretty close awful. to that one. We got some commentary, some thoughts this week from some of our loyal viewers. In fact, we heard again from Bill. Bill. Hey, Bill. Bill, hey, guys. Bill. Really? Mario teaches typing? Someone out there didn't like you when they submitted that game. I liked watching <laughs> Nolan play the game on your Patreon. Oh, thanks, Bill. That was cool content. His mustache kind of reminds me of Inigo Montoya. Ooh, I'll take that. That's wow. dope. As for the game, Killed let's get down father. to the list. Voice acting? Terrible. Responsiveness of typing? Wouldn't allow me to go nearly as fast mm-hmm. as I can type. Mm-hmm. Fun fact: really annoying in a typing the game. The game is boring. The levels <laughs> go on too long to the point where my hands were tiring, which we didn't even talk about. So, yeah. On yeah. some long of them, the level. time limit is five minutes yeah. of straight typing nonsense. Uh, nonsense. Yes. As quickly Insanity. as you can for no reason. Insanity. Idea? It was a good idea, for real. Getting kids to learn to type with something that they already enjoyed is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Does this get my new game plus? Without a doubt. No. But good news, they made a sequel. I watched a playthrough of it, and as a game, it looked better, but I think it's still pretty crappy. <clears throat> I'm glad I could write in this week, and I can't wait to find out what next week's game is. There's a sequel? Awesome. Mario Here's teaches typing, too. Mario teaches typing, too. Mario I wonder if teaches it's good. typing, also. I tried out. Maybe they're let's like, the oh, list. this game sucked. Let's make it better. No, we're not putting it on the list. <laughs> I'll put it on Unless the list. Unless someone wants to just troll us again. And I got you, it. Bill. Thank you, Bill. So good to hear from you again, man. Yeah. We received another email from Holden. First off, that was the worst attempt at a Mario voice I've ever heard. Secondly, someone trolled us this week. Thirdly, I'm not even sure this was able to teach anyone how to type. So, how did they figure it it would be enjoyable. No way that this gets approved. Yeah. And he was right. Yep, yeah, you were. Jan. Hi, guys. This week I played Mario Teaches Typing. So did we. This game <laughs> is quite a lot of fun. When I started the game, I was instantly oh, greeted the by the Super Nintendo Mario music. Quite a good conversion. That's impressive. They even took the time to convert it for PC speakers. If you change the sound card in the setup, you can hear it. After a while, you are greeted by Mario. Wow, that voice. So that's how an Italian guy speaking English sounds. Yeah. That's about Talk about racial stereotyping. It's so <laughs> yeah, bad, it's funny. Real. I like the way it teaches you typing. First you get two keys, then another one is added, and another one. Sometimes it alternates between two keys for a while. We know what those letters it does, are. It does like slowly progress you. It at least makes sense in how it tries to go about what it does. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, another one gets added when you're not expecting it. It's well thought out, and it works. The animations are entertaining. The text you have to type later in the game are entertaining as well. The music is nice. It all works well together. I think I will be playing this game some more. And when I finish this game, I'm going to print the certificate and put it on my wall. Well, <laughs> we didn't get it. We messed something. <laughs> Yeah, Jan, no, I'm uh, glad you liked this game. Yeah, they need Mario someone on the positive typist. team. But Jan, apparently you already know how to type because you sent us an email. So just send us it's, more emails. Let that be your typing game. Yeah. It's just and clear then, now that, sorry, it's just clear now that Nintendo didn't care about the PC platform. They just wanted their consoles to shine. So well, that uh, like. If this isn't the first, this is one of the only uh, up until this time where right. where Nintendo did anything for PC, mm-hmm. which is sad. Yeah, it is. I mean, they could probably I'm do upset something with, with you. That. Um, finally, Antonin uh, wrote us in. He said, hey guys, I've been loving the Discord, huh? And I almost thought Wait, it what? was a little What's redundant that? to write in an email, but here it goes. 
I think the game is actually decent for an educational game. It's not super fun, but it's not super bad either. I got a pretty decent score, and I found the way they tried to teach typing was pretty cool too. You start with random annoying letters, and you move on to words, and finally, <laughs> sentences. Anyways, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> that's, that's how it ended. It that's sounded the last... kind of positive, and I was like, Antonin, we usually agree. Right. It's because he, he probably knew to where we are. Yeah, he probably knew we were going to have said all of these things. But uh, he's, he's kind of saying, like, like the idea, yes, give an educational game. Have a typing right. game with Mario. Like, do an incredible thing with yep. that. Uh -huh. But then they just didn't, and it's just disappointing. Drop the ball. True. And we got to remember that this was on, like on the computer as a platform in the early, early 90s. And so there's going to be limitations in terms of what they can do technically. And so we can't judge them too hard for that. But I don't think that's what we're noticing. No, I, I don't think so either. noticing is decisions about how they went about things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's unfair still. Well, thank you guys for writing in this week. Uh, every week, you can play the game along with us and send in your thoughts via Twitter, Facebook, or email ngppodcast at gmail.com. If you can't send us info any of those ways because you don't know how to type, then maybe repeat this game's game a couple of Play times. Play this game a couple more times, yeah. And then hit us up on or Twitter. Or just call our landline. One and... character at a time, and we'll know what's up. Just yeah. don't write us about the uh, uh, the Civil War or uh, nuclear bombs. <laughs> It is that time of the week where we randomly select a new game to yes. play uh, from the retro master list. And before Liberty. Kenny gets too excited, I'm going to spin the randomizer now. You're saying freedom, Kenny. It could be more torture. That's true. We could get another game where somebody's trying to just make it us could suffer. still be a bridgeman after this one. Nothing is going to be as bad as the game that we just played. I still think Jurassic Park was worse. last words. We are going to be playing a game that came out in 1996. Okay. Okay. I like it so far. Developed by ID Software. I like it. Ooh, they've been in the news lately, so. It is a first person shooter game. I like it. And it is called Quake. Quake? Oh, I suspected it might be. So, this is the Classic successor title. to Doom. This is even before Doom? Um, no. Yeah. No, no, uh, no. Successor, Quake, successor. It's a spiritual successor. I think it's yeah, not. It doesn't they, have anything to do with. It came after. Yeah, different they people. Took, it was. It was an answer to Doom. It was an. Oh, you made Doom no, here. Somebody, Quake, Quake. It might be the same people. Some of the same Romero, people. It's I just think like. That's the same oh, guy, is it? Right? Okay. It's just like a separate thing that's more focused on multiplayer FPS. Like this Quake really set the stage for game. computer FPS competition. And Absolutely. it's going to be fun. Like, yeah. this is the guy that did Wolfenstein 3D, Hexen, Doom, and Quake. Dang, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's, it's got a really nice Big team titles. behind it. And it's still hugely popular. And the speedrunning community started with Quake, I believe. I think Quake speedruns were, like, the thing. Because you can strafe really fast in that game. Yeah. We might have to play against each other to get a full feel. Eh. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, is if it still possible? we can find possible? a way to do multiplayer, yeah, we'll I'm There's sure some it is. way, yeah. There is a community out there, I'm sure. Well, play Quake with us this week. Get a copy, and uh, we'd love to play along with you. We'd also love to connect with you on some other platforms as well. Interesting. Okay, uh, guys. No. So we are super excited to announce a new way to communicate with you. So up until now, we have been just relying on email communication when you have some thoughts on a game or uh, Ooh, when we ask for you know, like feedback or what games do you want us to play. It's either Twitter or email while both of those are awesome and we still want to use them um we're excited to roll out our discord server uh, if you don't know what that is it's just a chat and voice client that is meant for gamers it's actually like created by gamers um and it's gotten hugely successful recently and you know a lot of people use it what it's going to serve is a, a place for us to to talk about the game of the week that's a like huge part of throughout it. the week not just uh show to show if you want to connect with us right between shows it's a great so, way to do that so what we'll have is different channels in their chat channels that you can join lounge is one that you can just go off topic talk with us talk with the other viewers uh our patreons you know whatever you want to do but then there's like a game of the week channel that's going to be really cool where we can share like a more live uh, reaction to the game of the week. Like if we play it, it really if we fun. play it, then let us know real quick. Uh, say 
wow that music wow that mario voice and we'll be able to interact with that and so it's going to be a really cool way to just connect a little further with you guys and again we don't want to replace email or twitter with this or anything like that we still want you to send us thoughts through that as well but um this is just going to be an additional way for us to connect um and we're going to have an invite leak link to discord to our discord server on our twitter and i believe in the description of this episode um and if you have questions just let us know and we can help you out yeah so this is going to be our home base this is where uh throughout the week while we're at work uh as we're going to sleep yeah uh nolan kenny and myself uh will will be on here regularly yeah. so i've got it up you all just if you want to have a day-to-day -day conversation uh, about games, about uh, soundtracks, about anything, um, the presidential uh, election, I guess that's way over, uh, then you can you can find us uh, on our Discord yeah. channel and once again. yeah. Another fun part about it, um, if you are a patron, if you support us through Patreon, you have access to benefits in our Discord server. So uh, we announced that through Patreon this last week, kind of did a rough launch and have been connecting with some of you, and that's been awesome. Um, so be sure to uh, to link that up, get your account set up if you don't have a Discord, and you will have an honorary role, access to exclusive channels. It's it's gonna be awesome, but it is for everyone as well. So get it, it's awesome. Yeah, join us on Discord as always. Find us on social media, Facebook and Twitter at NGP Podcast. You can listen to us directly on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Music, or any other podcast provider. Make sure that you're subscribed so you can be the first to listen to new NGP episodes. Uh, as Nolan just mentioned, patreon.com slash NGP Podcast to find out how you can get a bunch of other goodies all throughout the week. Uh, I believe that one of us are going to shoot for, no pun intended, a first <laughs> play this week on the game Quake. And uh, hey, as always, special thank you to our two producers. That's our top level patrons. Uh, that's Bradley and Zion. You guys are the backbone of what we do. Yes. And uh, we also just thank all of our patrons for your support. Mm -hmm. Join us next week as we play Quake. Until then, I'm Dustin. I'm Kenny. And I'm Nolan. And this has been New Game... Uh, and this has been a learning episode... And this has been... <laughs> An educational. And this has been an edutainment version of New Game Plus. Brought to you by PBS. F. And the letter F. 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 F.